Yo, 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 you know who it be, it is moi, and, um, sorry, <laughs> uh, last night's stream was very interesting, obviously I got a chance to, I gotta stop saying obviously, because it's not that obvious that I got a chance to hang out with some really cool devs, the guys over at Prime Chaos Games, uh, who are in the process, in the, uh, of making um what's it called oh yeah v ghost in the deep ghost in the deep um which was v cool uh <laughs> wow that was really lame no uh it was it was a fun shmup and because of that i you know had to give some more shmups a, a try and um it led me to this point where I'm playing the infamous Grasshopper Manufacturer game, Cine Mora. EX version. Um, is it infamous? I don't even know if it's infamous, but it is a game that I don't see a lot of people talk about or play or what have you. Uh, I don't remember what chapter I got to exactly. Oh, but I, I got the game running in in windowed mode, so now I can see the chat again, which is cool. You know. uh, let's, let's continue the game. One man's virtue is another man's sin. Inkies. We already got that dialogue going on last time, so I'm gonna skip this. Oh, I also force oh, anisotropic filtering Metro and, um... There's no escape. And, uh... That's it. Oh, some anti-aliasing. Only four times, though. So the game might look a little different. Perhaps better. And sometimes you just gotta pop into Steam's little uh, settings folder and do it yourself. The game looks good, and I'm... You know, if I run it at a lower resolution, I don't think that you can really notice the, much of a difference anyway. Uh, no. So, if you recall, this this buffalo dude is on a quest to avenge his son, who is also a bear for some reason. So he's traveling back in time. How is he traveling back in time? They kind of glazed over that part. Apparently, everyone born in this world can travel back. In time. That's all we know. Also, I don't really understand how time capsules work necessarily. I just know that they do. Um, is it controlled by that bar in the top right? The speed up bar? Looks to be somewhat the case. Hope the volume's alright for you guys. I, uh, I adjusted it. I think this guy's voice is like the only good voice in the game, and even then, I I can only assume they had the voice actor continue his role when he has the younger version of him, but for some reason that sounds all muddy, and I know they're doing like a like a radio voice type thing, but it sounded just like really lousy. I am, of course, saying this as somebody who is totally experienced in voice acting, as you know. An absolute champ in the in the game. Right. But, um... Uh, the game is running well right now, which is making me very happy. There's, there's none of that, uh, lag. Oh, what's up, Tritus? How, how, how's it going? You, you, you want to see me blow up some airships? <laughs> so yeah, uh, since I'm guessing you don't know, and a lot of people don't know, this game was like super old, 2010, we, well I would have been in middle school at least, you know. Um, it was like an Xbox 360 PS3 era game. I think I might have gotten this as part of a Humble Bundle, like, way back when. 
Um, but the fact that it has continued to be re-released, the latest re-release was um, 2017. They re-released it for the Nintendo Switch. That was cool. Means that they kept relevant somehow. Even though I still don't hear anyone caring about the game. Like, no pro, like, uh, shmup players have... I'm saying this not knowing anything, but I don't think any pro shmups, shmuppers, have played the game or streamed it much. I haven't seen it trending on Twitch's top 100, so that's a thing. So I'm probably the only person at this moment playing this particular game, but what else is new? This game is currently on sale on Steam right now for like 66% off. Something like that. Just for the record, not saying anyone has to buy it. I'm just saying that is a thing that is nice known. Nice toy you've got there, but nothing can save your ass now. I. What? What is this? Am I in this giant like hamster wheel looking thing? How am I supposed to deal with this? Why is this a boss? I, I've been saying the same thing over and over, but a lot of the bosses don't make a lot of sense in this game. And it's very confusing. And I'm actually not doing it much damage. How do I shoot that? Uh, that's where I came from. Oh, this is so confusing. So you kind of got to time it as it's spinning. Uh, how am I going to... I want to hit this purple blob thingy. I guess I got it. But I can't get to the core on the Oh, you know what this reminds me of? You know all those little like ball puzzles, ball maze puzzles that uh, people give to children or whatever, where you gotta like figure out a way to navigate the ball to the center or out of it, depending on where the starting point is. Yeah, this is like that, except I don't have access to all the stuff. How am I supposed to get past that laser? I don't know. You guys want to hear my? You want to hear my buffalo voice? The the old buffalo man. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, come on, kid. You just gotta navigate and blow it up. I I believe in you. I'm not at all crazy. Because the dude is wild. If you checked into the stream last night, you'll know this. He's not a good guy. His, his revenge quest has, like, base it, has him blackmailing this, like, chick who's, like, a racial, racial uh, genocidal refugee type girl. And then, and then, oh my, I'm, I'm gonna, like, attach this thing. Gotta avenge my son! Oh, damn it. I only have one credit left. Anybody got a spare quarter? Uh, when I was in arcades as a kid, um, I don't think I spent much more than the equivalent of what I think was like a... Probably more than a dollar, but uh, what I thought was a dollar at the time. At any one given machine. You know, and some people might be like, well, a dollar is a lot of money for a kid. And I'd be like, well, have you played an arcade game that is designed to take money from children like myself? Uh, oh, no, I failed. My time has passed. Game over. Um, it's okay. I got it.
I hit restart doesn't start me over from the first game. First section of the game. Uh, I'm gonna see if I how to get back to the the part that I was originally at because I am not restarting the actual. Game. No way, Jose. No. Please don't make me do it. Oh my God! I have to start from the stage. That's fine. Um. Yeah, Tira. And I'm gonna go back to the normal. One man's virtue is. So. Basically, he's just saying, like, because the Enkis, the, the, the race that was you. targeted, um, were monogamists no or whatever, and they valued life or whatever, uh, they, they only have so many children. That was a major thing. And at some point, um, the Empire uh, rendered them unable to have kids or something like that. They were, like, all basically sterilized. So the Empire has this practice where they have all their older folks commit ru ritual suicide. I ran out of time. Um, ritual suicide, so that way the young people don't have to fight for resources. Which was a... That's a, that's a plot point that exists in this one manga called... Uh, what was it called? The Plunderer? Yeah, The Plunderer. It doesn't sound that cool, but it's very interesting. It, it's got like the, a lot of a lot of World War dystopia type vibes to it. So if you like that kind of thing, highly recommend. Still ongoing, at least in translation. Do I know where you can find the proper like license scan scans? Uh, sorry, translation. No, but uh, I know you can find it somewhere. Anyway, yeah. Still think that it, that's a cool ability that he has. His ultimate or like whatever bomb type ability is called Punk Spirit. Why is it a Punk Spirit? I don't know. It's a mini new. Like you, you have to call something like a more appropriate name. I don't think so. And my my actual real question is, what should I play after this? I have no idea. I um. I didn't think that far, because this game only has, like, one more stage after this one. Uh, which means... I have to do some thinking. Like, now. Probably not another shmup, even though I could definitely be playing more. Mostly because I'm, I'm just, like, a coward, and I don't want to don't want to go through all this again because it's very hard to speak and play because uh, I'm not good at shmups. Let's see what's on my mind. Wait. Uh, well, there's Onimusha, which got remastered for, you know, every console like two months ago, February, something like that. I don't know. Two months ago is February, right? I lost track of time. And, uh... What else? Well, play a competitive game. Like... Apex. But... Do, do we really want to see me, like... Flop about? For a good hour? Or however long I play for? Maybe. Everyone else is doing it. Um, there's also... I don't want to switch to my PS3 yet because I have another monitor on the way. And by on the way, I mean from my, my folks home. Uh, I left it in my room and I didn't bring it with me. So then it'll be easier for me to like stream console games because I'll have another screen to look at the, for the chat and everything. Um... I'm trying to hold off on those. There's a lot of exciting games that I want to try with that. Don't really want to pick up another RPG just yet. I will soon. When I graduate, I'll, you know, have plenty of time to stream an RPG and never worry about whether or not it is boring or what have you. I 
Meanwhile, life has been, you know, kind of tough recently. I, um, I don't know. This isn't, this is, is this really the, the place where I want to say that? Okay, so before I say anything depressing, notice that there are humans dancing in the background. That is what I noticed last night too. The empire seems to be almost exclusively made of humans. So the guy that we're hunting is the the killer of this guy's son. He was the co-pilot in in his son's ship during a war. Well, I want to call it a battle. Think about okay. Imagine if if uh, the bombing of Japan by the U.S. was was conducted by animal people. Maybe I don't know imagine and uh the uh co-pilot of your son shot your son because your son refused to drop the nuke yeah does, does that imagery help i i think i think it does um because that's basically what happened uh, and yeah oh my god Take my power. And these lasers need to go. Okay. Oh no. Okay. So close. So close. Oh, lost my bullet. Sadness. I got one bullet back. I'm calling them bullets, but they're just power ups. Oh, that's bad. And this way, now I gotta wait for the thing to spin again. Uh, anyway, so what I was gonna say, the the tragic news. I'm saying this really lighthearted, but it's actually quite sad. My uh, my grandfather passed away last Sunday. So. I won't be streaming next Wednesday because uh, I'll, I'll be headed home for the funeral. Um, which is tough, but uh, I'm glad that he was able to pass at home among family. Uh, his health had not been so good lately. It was actually deteriorating significantly and he he's over 90. He was over 90, so. I don't feel like it was before his time. No match for what the hell? Yeah. What just happened? Some sort of time thing? Time shenanigans? Gala, I'm still 600 Did units he die? behind you. I've got to reduce the gap between us. The front lines are closing up too fast. Maybe it's like because he tried to mess with time, time created it so that he died way earlier. And then his son survives as a result, so he has to die. Like one of those time paradox, like, fixie thingies. I don't know. Anyone can understand the story to this game, they're free to explain, but, uh, that's what I got from it. He traveled back in time to save his son and kill his son's killer, so as a result, he died so his son could live. Because otherwise the timeline would be too gunked up. That's what I, that's what I understood. Everything's a weapon in this game, even the observatory. Why? He's gonna use the power of the sun against me. 
Uh, I'm assuming he, but really it's just a building. Buildings are genderless. Hello, it's 2019. Time has passed. People look sad. So let me just get your nerdy magnifying glass. Wow, that's that's not a mm, not what I expected to happen. That missile goes so fast, it's wild. little little shooty pecky thingy i don't know what that is is that a eiffel tower maybe a buoy an angel from evangelion i'm gonna have to slow time down in order to deal with all this exploding earth I say Earth, but they said interplanetary at one point, so that means this could easily not be Earth, and I am... And that means that all the furry animals might be aliens, and that the Empire is a bunch of humans trying to enslave the rest of the galaxy. And I mean, but... Typical. Chillax. Hold on. Yeah, now you can't look at the stars oh, anymore. The tower's ground defense has been eliminated. You're up. Good luck, poor bastard. The tower is yours. Tell Cos if you ever see him again to forget about me once and for all. As far as I'm concerned, I've paid him for our toll. If he said otherwise, then he would go to hell with the law. Another explosion happening. I, all on my own, managed to commit the two greatest blunders in the history of Imperial Intelligence. First, I had my name switched with that of the treasonous pilot of the Cobalt King in the report on the Battle of Mirage Mountain. Central Intelligence believed my work would be easier to accomplish if our enemies presumed me dead. This was a mistake, knowing my father but at the time, I had no idea he would spin such an elaborate web of revenge. So his son survived. I made my second mistake when the order came down to find out who'd been methodically erasing every surviving member of the Cobalt King's crew. We set up a trap, and I took the place of Zack Gully, the long-dead co-pilot. The very man who in reports had supposedly killed me. I volunteered to do the job hoping to end the killing spree. After all, if the murderer knew of the forgery, he might lump me in with the same lot. I wanted to face him head on, not get stabbed in the back. We faced each other indeed, and I killed my own father as he attempted to avenge my death. These mistakes are unforgivable. All I can do is live with them. That's such a wild plot. His dad, like, we, we followed his dad on his revenge journey, and it turns out he gets killed by his own son, who he was trying to avenge. Why? Why are you doing it to us? Tragic. I know I sound like I don't care, but uh, that's a very complex plot for uh, a shoot -em up just for the record. And now we're in the epilogue. They say wisdom comes with age. As I get older, I've begun to feel the opposite is true. 
It's not that I know less, per se, although the pace at which I learn is certainly slowing. It's more that, as a child, I saw more and experienced more. Everything was new. I reveled in tastes, colors prickled my senses. All sensory input made me feel richer. As I grew older, my world narrowed. Precise moods that I used to know in the past, I couldn't even begin to recall now. What brought me to this point? I don't know. I can no longer feel the purpose, the object, the sensation. Back then it was the journey that amazed me. Today, I'm pleased enough by simple arrivals. And I have arrived. This is Syriad, the home of the project, the floating fortress. Our story will end here. I can give real critique to the voice actor, which is to keep talking so slow to give the last circle. everything. Prophet and King have seen nothing further for our nation. Whatever the Empire is up to, we will do everything in our power to try and prevent it. If all goes well, Linthus should be working to distract the Empire during their victory parade. We will make our stand. There are only two of us now. All other Ankies are dead, or slaves of the project. We cannot save them. There's simply... nothing to be done. The book does not have our names written. Either both of us die, or... The rate at which the text is going is not matching what's going on in the voice, which is also questionable. But yeah, so you notice, right, she's talking like this to emphasize that a lot of bad things are happening in the world. Code Red D. Movement in Central Corridor. And now, it looks like I'm in a Matrix-like battery slave factory type thing. Oh, it's Ofen. Not Orphan, Ofen. It probably was orphan when they tried to translate it, because in Japanese they don't have an, they don't have, they wouldn't have that R. It would just be an O, orphan. Sorry, that sounded a little British, but it, it's like just O. Or I don't know, maybe it could have been R U Oru. Then I don't. Know. I'm guessing. I'm just trying to wonder why they called it open. Die, bastard! Yeah, see, why did she just randomly go, Die, bastard! So, if you press the X button uh, on a, you know, gamepad, you can slow down your ship for more precise navigation, but it doesn't come up too often, especially since the rest of the world moves so fast. Like, think back to that, like, little stealth section that I had uh, yesterday. I wouldn't be able to utilize that efficiently because the environment would still blow me away. So what's the point? Are you dead yet? No? Okay, cool. Oh boy. Hello. I don't have any more sub attacks, so I can't. It moves a little unpredictably, even though not exactly. 
Oh. Did you die already? Oh, all right. I deserve that one. Oh, and again. Oh, see, these things have mass, too, so they drag you along with them. So you can't just, like, take a hit and then phase through it. You're, you're going to keep taking damage if you don't move. Which I think is a kind of a neat touch, but also a pain in the butt. Emergency shutdown. Life functions have ceased in all blocks. No! She... She killed all of her people. That's what she just did. She she finished off the genocide. Pretty bittersweet. And all she had to say was, No! And I'm guessing she just died. Just now. Truly a war of attrition. A Pyrrhic victory. How stable can history be when you can travel through time? The only thing you can count on is the state of the present moment, the status quo. According to the current state of things, on the day I killed my father, the terrorist in our registry under the name of Akita Driad extinguished her own nation and vanished into time without a trace. So perfectly without a trace, one could presume she landed somewhere past the time continuum. I have no hope of ever saving my father, and the only one I could hope to seek revenge upon would be myself. All I'm left with is a sour irony. Driad would perhaps tell the story with greater indifference than I do, it took me a long time to notice it. Her time and trials are not yet over. But she certainly paid her dues for her country. The censors on Syria had recorded an intrusion of two foreign beings that day. Deep analysis of the sequence of events that caused her to obliterate her people has become a matter of imperial interest, since the key to Lael's power and riches lies with the project. But that's a different story for another time. Are they suggesting that there was a sequel that could happen? I am I have so many questions. That, that was Cine Mora DX. Uh, finally got that over and out with. Um, I, I just had a very sour feeling at the end of the game. It is very beautifully rendered. There was a lot of attention paid to the story, but I was like, what am I? What's going on here? I don't know.